Hello there, fellow internet user. If you are new to this channel, my name is Veiku and um, I do Pokemon videos. I play a lot of ranked Pokemon and uh, I also do competitive Pokemon. I've been doing it less than six months, but I've been working really, really hard and I have some really cool Battle of the Legends battles for you in this video. It's an official Pokemon tournament. And uh, things are super exciting. You can only use one legendary Pokemon in this tournament. And uh, you are in for some <laughs> crazy battles. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright. Battle of the Legends is here. And we have a full starter team. With Psychic, Mewtwo and Primarina. Yes, the Battle of Legends is here. Um, like the Psychic is the weakness of my team. I kind of originally wanted just Hydreigon because I thought it would be pretty good. It's, this is not the end of the world. Kind of, Grotos kind of sweeps the whole team, but. Do I want to lead it against the Psychic spam? That's the question. But like Sehian is pretty good here too. Let's try this one. I kind of because if Venusaur outspeeds, uh, Venusaur speed is doubled in the sun. So if it does outspeed here, we're in a decent spot, I guess. It's not max speed. It's max special attack. So I don't know if it will outspeed me too. Kind of depends on the items, right? Mewtwo indeedy, maybe. Okay. That's not bad, too. I can live with this. I can completely live with this. Grassy Surge. So it's Gen 1 <laughs> against Gen 8 starters. Grassy Seed. Our call sets up throat. We should make Venus are the fastest now. I have a magnifying uh, lens which increases the sleep powder accuracy, so it's heavily in our favor. We can put Cinderace in the sleep. And then I guess I will just go for an eruption here. I could also switch in the Gyarados and get a better position. Yeah, like Torgol is looking pretty strong here. Okay, they are going to Gigantamax. I have a feeling it's going to be Cinderace. So hopefully we will land land this Sleep Powder. Last time we did nothing else but battled G-Max Cinderace. So this time I should be prepared. This is like almost 90% accurate. Nice. And uh, is this a wood hammer, maybe? Or knockoff? Or high horsepower knockoff? Yo, this should be pretty good. We lost Assault Vest, which is completely fine, and uh, we get the KO. Whew! This Battle of the Legends is 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 exciting. I'm I'm super excited. I'm a bit nervous. Hopefully everything goes our way. The goal is to have fun, to succeed, and bring you guys entertaining content. So here we go. It's Mewtwo, as suspected. As suspected. Um, I kind of could go for damage, because if I miss Sleep Powder, I'm in a... Oh, this is a bit greedy, but then again, is it... And I think I go for an eruption. Venusaur could outspeed this Mewtwo still, so... Cinderace can wake up. Okay, we do manage to connect, which is nice. So now the <laughs> opponent's... Uh, Cinderace could wake up, but... Okay, Mewtwo is faster. Cinderace does wake up and goes for a max airstream. Probably in the Venusaur. Which is kind of bad, actually. 
because I trained my Gyarados specifically to outspeed Cinderace, but... Um, like, all, also ignoring Torgol is kind of dangerous for my opponent, to be honest. I could still definitely lose this. But that's some good damage. That's some good damage. Um, I think I bring Among Us here, protect, and try to go for a yet another eruption, I think. Getting that one there and sleep is kind of bad, but it's it's I guess it's okay. Should I go for a heat wave? Because if they target Torkoal this turn, yeah, I think that's the play. Cinderace definitely hits Among Us, which is kind of bad, but that Airstream is bad. That is super bad, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I should have... Well, we'll see. Mewtwo stays asleep, which is kind of nice. And uh, Among Us should be able to take this through the product, but it is in the sun, so you'll never know. Nice, we do take those. I don't know ignoring Torgol is the correct play, but that's what my opponent is going with. I kind of wanted Gyarados and Mungus to be ne right next to each other, but this is fine too. Their Gigantamax is over, we still have our own, and um, it's Inteleon. Huh, so Gyarados is looking pretty strong here. If they protect, that's kind of bad. I always Rage Powder here. Um, I guess that's kind of bad, because Inteleon is going to... Mm, if I was a madman, I would Dynamax this Torkoal here. Because Inteleon is going to snipe shot. Probably a double KO. Cinderace KOs Among Us, and... Uh, uh, let's see what's going to happen. Maybe Gyarados can still pull this off. Because Inteleon can snipe shot the Torkoal. Pyro Ball as expected in Among Us. Among Us goes down. Let's see, with that Assault West we could have definitely taken this move, but without it, it is in the sun, so we'll see. Torkoal is a monster. That's right, that was a crit, and Torkoal is a beast. That's why we brought the good Pokemon this time. Yeah! Eat that, Inteleon. Bam! Yo, we are taking the first victory without our legendary Pokemon and without even Dynamaxing. That's that's how we want this to start. Now, I'm not trying to win all of the games. I'm, of course, trying to get qualified. I'm not too confident on that, but... I have a good team. I want to have fun. Hope you guys are enjoying. Japanese Beast Ball. Kyrados, yo. And... Uh, I don't see you, Cinderess, pulling this one off, so... Uh. Yo, you can only respect them... Ah, uh, they could go for a bounce, actually. It's not completely over yet. But it kinda is. Dynamax Gyarados in the back. Yo, we brought the Gen 1 Pokemon. They did go for a bounce. But yeah, if, if you're watching this battle and, you know, this is over, we have already won. No, no problem. This game is over. 100% your, your boy is taking this one home. This Cinderace is never going to win this one. It's going to go down even for life orb damage soon. Uh, 
You know what? I guess we max geyser and uh, we body press here. Not very. Oh, it's flying type, so. I guess we heat wave. Doesn't really matter. This Cinderace is never KOing my Giratas. No! Tower call! So close, and this is going to be a bit of fun. <laughs> you know, I can't blame him from trying, but bam! That's how we roll. Torkoal collecting some heads, like, you can't ignore my boy Torkoal. Even with not very effective eruptions, it destroyed that Cinderace. Cool stuff. Yo, let's continue with the battles. We are currently <coughs> undefeated. Now we Just one battle, so... Um... Like the sun is looking extremely good in this one, like super duper good. Super, 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 super good. Although... Trugabolt could be kind of annoying and uh, that... I'm not too good with my legendaries, I guess that's... The thing increases its special, special attack every turn. Yeah... Like, it kind of looks like Charizard is going to sweep this entire team. Maybe if they lead with, like, Milotic Trackabolt, I could be in trouble. I guess I'll go with this. I will bring Zarizard and Mungus. Yeah, let's try this one. You know, test out different Pokemon. I do have a game plan. We need to set up the Sun. After that, I'm going to switch Torgo into Among Us. And uh, when Zehian goes down, hopefully the sun is up, Among Us is healthy, and we have a charge hard on the field, which should sweep this team. But you'll never know. Okay, Lucario. This is kind of bad lead also. Ah, like Torkoal is pretty good here. We'll see. This legendary is kind of scary. But let's see the typing. I don't know my legendaries too well. It's Steel Fairy, which is fine. Um, kind of wanna hit the Lucario here and go for an eruption. Let's see what's going to happen. It's pretty crazy you can Dynamax the legendaries. I'm not a huge fan of that. You can't Dynamax Zayhian. You can't Dynamax them all, so being able to Dynamax these Pokemon is... You could say it's a bit unfair, but it is what it is, right? I kind of feel like if you weren't... Like, it would be fair if you could... If you wouldn't be able to Dynamax any of the legendaries. That's kind of how I feel. Okay, we do manage to connect, that's some good damage. It is Focus Stash, which is a bit scary. Final Gambit on... Yo, they know, they know. But it's only one HP now. Final Gambit hits us. And uh, this Pokemon has an ability that every time its uh, friend is getting KO'd, it will use uh, special attack boost. That's a lot of damage, that's scary damage, whoa. Oh, it was a crit. Uh, that's super unfortunate for us. I don't think without that crit it chaos, but now you're going to see the power of Torkoal. Oh, come on, Torkoal. How fast it, uh, is that thing? Okay, it's just increasing its special attack. Okay, it is... Come on! Okay, without that berry, this thing was probably gone. The question is... Is it faster than Charizard? I have no idea. Um, that is a bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I can't even... I don't know what's... What is this thing's name? I still have some time. 
Hopefully I don't run out of time. Okay, Charge Shot definitely outspeeds this thing. But I kind of have a feeling uh, Dash Collapse is gonna go for an ally switch, so this is... I think this turn determines uh, the game. I am reading ally switch, that's the whole point here. Among Us can't do anything in the back, so I kind of need this one to go right. Dash Clubs needs to press ally switch and... Uh, Yo, that's how we roll. Your boy is no rookie anymore. Bam! Yo. Oh, that's Charge Chart KOing Legendary. Did you guys see that play? I read the ally switch because what else would a Dust Clubs done there? There's no reason to trick room because I have such an offensive board. And uh, you're going to have to eat this eruption, and you don't want to eat this eruption. That's a lot of damage. It's looking pretty good for your hero right now. We'll see what the last Pokemon is, you'll never know. It is my Lodic, which I don't have a good answer to. Mm. Yes, um, yeah, uh, yeah, maybe I do this. So if they ally switch, if they protect, everything should be covered with this play. Helping hand, so they are definitely not. This is so exciting, come on. Bam! Almost, almost. That's none. None super effective move. Dusclops using Pain Split here would have been kind of scary, but yeah, there's no way. We do get the Accuracy Drop, which could be a problem, but... And, uh... Do you guys know what's the best Pokémon of the game? It starts with an T, and uh, it's a little turtle. BAM! Yo, Torkoal. Okay, Charizard gets the KO with GMAX Wildfire. We take those, baby. After a pretty good start, I don't want to get too cocky because I know I'm gonna go for a losing streak, but... Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy. I think these two paddles will be the video for the day. I've started to play the Battle of the Legendary. This is my second tournament ever. Hope you guys enjoyed the content, this is an official competition and we are off to a great start, so if you want to support me, press that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, all of that good stuff, hope you have a wonderful weekend, thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye.